Today I'm going to show you the biggest divvy in YouTube boxing. For my American fans, a divvy basically just means an idiot. And before we dive into it, the majority of my audience is American. How the hell did that happen? <laughs> Here's all my UK support. Come on, boys. If you're from the UK and you watch, make sure you subscribe and turn the notifications on, you stubborn bastards. So the biggest divvy in boxing, maybe he's just the biggest divvy on YouTube in general, is called Ryan Taylor. Some of you may know him. He's been on YouTube for ages. He started off being a BMXer and his content was quite good back in the day. He got really popular from going into abandoned water parks and going down slides on his BMX and getting chased by the police and security. But then he got into the whole YouTube boxing scene and it was a mess. He's shown his true character. You boys know how much I hate Ugh! people with egos, especially unjustified egos. And this guy is the epitome of an egomaniac. I'm going to say something now which might shock a lot of people, so hold on to your knickers. He might just be worse than Logan Paul. I know, crazy. Anyway, the reason why I wanted to make this video is because Ryan Taylor is actually fighting on the October 14th fight card with Logan Paul, Dylan Danis, KSI, Tommy Fury. I didn't even realise, and it's a rematch against a rapper called Swarms, who he got one punch TKO'd by last time. And also, I'm going to the event. The tickets are purchased, so make sure you lads are subscribed with the notifications turned on because I'm going to vlog it. Now this video isn't going to be a breakdown of Ryan's technique or his sparring footage or his last few fights. I simply wanted to make this video to say I hope Swarms destroys Ryan Taylor. He's just a wannabe thug and I want to dedicate today's video to show you how much of a divvy this lad is. So come October 14th you know that you've got to cheer for Swarms to win this fight. So today I've got some clips and this is all just from one video on the lead up to his first boxing fight. So let's take a look at what type of person we're dealing with I'm fueled up bro I am fueled up swindler, you tinder, <laughs> you tinder swindler. where are you yeah, I'm in London I'm driving around I'm looking to kill someone so this is a quick introduction to the guy who we're dealing with doesn't seem too bad just yet but let's keep going what do you want me to do to him it's intimidating if you get too close, you're bomb. Exactly. Yeah. Intimidation, Rude Boy. This is warfare. So if you want to talk to each other, use the mics, alright? They all want to hear Use the mic, you little fucking muppet. You only trained two weeks for this fight, right? Yeah, yeah, but I'm from Birmingham, bro. You know what that is, isn't it? So it's normal. This ain't, you know what I mean? It's, it's every day. He said, yeah, I only trained two weeks for this fight. I'm from Birmingham. You know how we get down. This is every day, innit? It? it doesn't matter where you're from. I'm from Liverpool, where it's as rough as it gets. But these little scallies who go around the streets, you put them in a ring one-on-one -on -one with someone, and they wouldn't stand a chance. That's the whole point of it being a boxing event. There's no hiding. There's no standing behind your boys. There's no weapons. You're completely exposed. So having that much of an ego that you think, oh, well, I only need two weeks preparation goes to show how much this lad thinks of himself. He said, he said he's ready to go even right now. Oh, what's going on? No, 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 no. Oh, 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 oh. Whoa, 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 whoa. You're going to get a fight back to the US. You're going to be fucking pissed off. I think you're flying back as well. You know when you got come here, you got violated, bruv. You little moppet. You little moppet. Bro, I've got about fucking 10 kids outside there, 12, 13, I'll smash your facing. My job is to perform and smash his kids facing. I've got no other job in it, so obviously what I'm here to do is that. That's all I'm going to do anyway. I'll do my job, you guys do your job in it, but I'm here to deal with the kid I've got to deal with. Ooh, he's so hard, I wouldn't like to get into a fight with him. He's scary, isn't he? Now, Ryan's the type of person who thinks he's tough because he rolls with 20 lads. A lot of the time in this video, you'll always notice he's always standing behind his coach. And his opponent, who's called DK Money, isn't really that confrontational. He's doing what he has to do, then he's getting off, no bother. Ryan makes it a point to go out of his way to try and intimidate the kids. What I see here is someone who thinks that he can bully people. <laughs> I don't understand what it means where you're from, brother. Yeah, what about this event? I'm saying, I'm saying, we is over here too, though, brother. I don't, I don't, I don't, I actually, I genuinely, I genuinely don't care about him. I'm more interested in this, I don't care about him. I'm, 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 if you're a gangster, do you think gangsters come around and say, I'm gangster too? No, 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 when I'm saying, what I'm saying is like, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a reactor where you're going to react. Jamal's on move. Don't do that. 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 Don't so what happens when you call it on? So as you can see, Ryan's the big man. He's the top G. He's the hard knock. You better not mess with him. He's constantly instigating fights. He's always being difficult, always creating arguments. And a lot of the time, always standing behind his coaches. And as you can see, he's starting arguments with his opponent's coach. And his opponent's coach is a pretty decent fighter himself. And isn't scared. He doesn't back down, as shown in this next clip. Oh, Let me tell you something. Is that, yeah? Real shit. I didn't even see Real gun Real cage fighter. Been that. 
real bad man. Yeah, been I, that. I, I, what I'm trying to say to you, so when a man comes to me and says I'm gangster too, I don't, I don't respect that. If you're gangster and you're a clue or you come to me and you pull yeah. me aside and we have a conversation. Okay, I understand, and if bro. you're going to deal with the situation, okay. then we'll deal with it okay. there and then. Do you get me? Because that's how we get down. So this, I, see, 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 see this, is a, this is a man conversation, I respect Yeah, but I just... Without no, no camera, yeah, yeah, without no cameras I'm around, with that, yeah. and if you want to show me you guys, so then we yeah. can go that way. Yeah. Do you understand? I guarantee you that there's only been one man that comes out of that situation, a real gangster, and it will be me, and that's facts. So I have no, I have the same background as you too. I have fake two amateur fights, I have four pro fights, I've been in there with Keith Thurman, no, I no. fought Timothy Brown. Did, you, did you speak to me? Did no. you know who it was before you well, said that? But that, but that. So you can see where Ryan gets his energy from. Obviously, his coach is extremely confrontational. Who came across like the more mature person in that interaction? It was DK Money's coach. He's got professional boxing fights, amateur fights, and a host of experience, yet he stands there completely cool, calm, and collected, and completely unemotional about it all. It's Ryan Taylor's coach who's getting all hyped up, trying to prove himself and validate himself and say, listen, you want to take this to the streets? You need to do your research on me. And then Ryan Taylor pacing back and forth behind his coach. I just hate all this wannabe bad man gangster shit. And this is the thing. You attract an audience that's similar to yourself. Ryan Taylor's a wannabe bad man. And this is the audience who he attracts. <laughs> Bunch of little low-life idiots. Now, this next part is just cringy. Ryan Taylor has an interaction with someone called FaZe Sensei. He's a part of FaZe Clan, but he's also a lifetime martial artist, and he's had quite a few fights himself. He's a really good fighter. Ryan Taylor tries to intimidate him because, apparently, FaZe Sensei done a video predicting that DK will win simply because he hasn't seen any footage on Ryan Taylor. Ryan Taylor obviously takes that to heart because he's an emotional human being. And here's how that interaction went down. Still confident in DK, my boy. No, I just saw the footage. I don't, I don't know DK or, or really you. I didn't, I didn't really know. No, but I saw DK. Yeah, but when you know, you know when your little face pops up on the videos. You know that when you did a lot of TikTok things. Yeah, the green screen, the green screen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. You were talking about it, and you were saying, you know, Ryan's got no experience in this. You know, never had a fight. Yeah. Like, how do you feel now? What? How do you feel now? I feel like you're looking pretty good. I didn't see, I didn't see any of the, the mitts or anything. So, good luck, dude. You know, win, you know. Yeah, cool. You can see FaZe Sensei is completely confused by this entire experience. He's like, wait there, are we having a confrontation right now? Or am I misinterpreting something? Ryan Taylor confronted Sensei on the fact that he'd done a green screen predicting that DK Money would win just because he hasn't seen Ryan hit any mitts. And then he says, how do you feel now that you see me in real life? FaZe is just like, yeah, you look good. I wish you the best of luck. And he's like, yeah, how do you feel now? Look at Ryan Taylor, size and FaZe up. He doesn't understand that FaZe Sensei would absolutely dust him and KO him flat. If he doesn't knock him out of a punch, he'll kick him, he'll choke him, he's got multiple ways to finish the fight. Ryan has got so much of an ego. You know the way you picked DK to win? Now you see me in person? What do you think now you're standing in front of a real bad man? Oh, it's just cringy as fuck, lad. Trying to be intimidating and he can't even fight. Wait until you see him on the pads. Pfft. Now, as I say, this video isn't to break down Ryan Taylor's technique. We'll do that on another video where we predict what the outcome of this rematch will be. But obviously, judging by the footage, you boys can see how hard and how tough this man is. He must have skills to be able to back up this talk. Well, let's have a brief little look at how he looks on the pads. <laughs> He's almost got the cowardly lion from Wizard of Oz. God, put him up, put him up. His left hand's like that. <laughs> hey, you, don't you come start on me, sonny. Why, I oughta. <laughs> Ooh. 
First off, anyone can look good on the pads, and Ryan doesn't look good on the pads. <laughs> He's one of these lads where, because he weighs 90 kilos, and he hits the pads, and it's got a little bit of a slap and a bit of a thud, he thinks that he's got a good punch on him. Just because you might have cracked a few kids in a few street fights or sucker punched some kids doesn't mean that you know how to fight. You will be exposed when you go one-on-one -on -one against someone. Hands versus hands. Make sure you subscribe because we're going to do a breakdown video of his fights that he's had and his sparring footage tomorrow and talk about predictions of the fight. So let's see more footage of him being an utter nuisance to society. And I remind you, this is the same video, remember? <laughs> Bro, I'm the real gangster out here, man. Gangster, you American guy, jokers. You never fight before the fight, no? You wanna see me always? Every single fucking day, bro. Every day we have to deal with this shit. You little motherfucker! What you expect? You little prick! You're in London! It's funny because he looks great punching the air, but when you actually see him in a fight and when we break down the footage tomorrow, you'll see what I mean. Look at his leg. Zoom in, tell him. It's the life we're living, bro. <laughs> Four days left. It's the life we're living. Real men. That's what we are out here in the streets. It's the life we live in, bro. Anyway, I found this next bit funny. He has a conversation with Berna Boy, and Berna says, if you don't knock the kids out, I'm going to come down there and knock you out. <laughs> and the confidence that Ryan speaks with on this phone call, I want you to pay close attention to. And remember it when we see the outcome of the fight near the end of this video, because it's important. And he just got a banging different. You know, like, different. You better bang him or else I'm going to come there and I'm going to bang you and him. You're not embarrassing me, man. Bang them. Man. I'm going to make it so horrible that people are scared to give me another fight. That's all. Yeah, you do that for me. I'm on it, I'm on it. It's Zero game over. L's. Out here, it's gonna be horrible. Yeah, it's gonna be horrible. Bro, it better be fucking horrible, bro. Trust me, it is horrible. Just not in the way that Ryan Taylor means. Bane Boy also said we take no L's out here. Well, it's interesting to note that Ryan Taylor's had three or four fights now and he's only taken L's. He's lost every single one of them. <laughs> an idiot. Uh, now this is where it becomes a tough watch and you see how he treats staff members of the event that he's taken part in. And I always think you can tell someone's true character based on how they treat staff. People who are just trying to do the job. He makes life incredibly difficult for every staff member he comes across. And once again, let me remind you, this is the same video. I'm part to go from now. I'm going to go from now. Me and a bit of water in together. What's the fucking problem, bro? There you go. So, this don't, time make it work. Don't, don't, I don't care what your no papers say, man. Bro, bro. Just walk together, man. Let's try to make it work. In the deep is it, bro? Okay, okay. 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 okay, I don't give a fuck. Okay. Okay. That energy is so okay. much better, brother. We got you, we got you. Sick. Can we, can we speak to the uh, Fucking director? Muppets. Yes, for the moment. Yeah. Wait for the director. We'll tell him what we're going to do. I am the director, fam. Let's rehearse now. Let's go. <laughs> Pause and I walk from now. I'm going to walk from there. Meet in the middle. Walk to the room. And it's cool. We'll be fine. We just need to speak to the director. I need a cameraman. I got a cameraman right there. I know, but it's not going to be shown on the screen. <sighs> anything with this guy welcome to my life you're the muppet ryan even his mate said then you can't organize anything with this guy and the cameraman said yeah welcome to my life even your mates and your own employees hate you and know how difficult you are good job you've got them on the payroll this is the type of lad where he tries to buy loyalty or he has a lot of people clinging onto him just because of the attention he's got lads like these might be popular but they don't have a lot of close mates who they can really truly trust now speaking of his click this is the crew who he brings with him to the fight also once again pay close attention to how he treats the staff control it don't look like it is but it is team uk team uk team uk but this is a big squad you know this. Somehow Ryan thinks that he's going to be able to get all of these people into the back door with him. He proceeds to make it extremely, extremely difficult for the staff members. Watch this egomaniac dickhead at work. Do you want to come in? I'm alright in it, but I got I want to sort of people out as well. I mean, what's going to happen with these? His name's on the list. Everyone's name's on the list, but they can't. They got to go another way, though. I'm just trying to please everyone. Because we're all here, bro. We're all here to give him... Watch him knock him down. He's more interested in pleasing everyone than actually getting in there so we can get ready for his fight. He even asks his mate or his boxing coach, what should they do? And even he's like, we should get you inside. Ah. All right, Josh. <laughs> what do you want me to do? Well, you should really be inside. Are you, are you in? 
Well, my, my list is here as well. Okay, can we just get you in for now? We just need to get the vehicle uh, in the high. Can you just get in you in now for now? I want to get my people in. Okay, <laughs> can I can we get the van in first and then we'll get everyone else in? I think we should sort mine out first. But I need to get this van in because it's literally blocking the entire road. Oh, we can keep blocking it. We're blocking the gate as well. I want to fight in it. I'm ready to go. I'm standing here in shorts. I'm, I'm, you know what I mean? I okay. need to go. Ooh, tough guy. Got to sort my people in it. Nah, I think I'm good. I'm going to wait here for them, bruv. I don't really know what to say at this point. Just an absolute piece of work. Anyway, he eventually listens to the staff and his coach and goes inside. Let's go, Ryan. You're yeah, yeah. Think about yourself then. Listen, yeah, you need to focus now. Now, one of the worst things about all of this is even Anthony Joshua, the superstar boxer himself, shows up to support Ryan Taylor. Give him fights. I'm trying to be like him. I'm trying to be like him when I grow up. I'm trying to be like him. I don't know what happened. What do you mean? We ain't even got a speak in our fucking room. We got no food over there. Yeah, man. I was about to fight, I was about to fight the kid outside. That's it, Ryan. More focused on the staff outside and the lack of food inside for your man dem than getting ready for your fight. The best part about this all is the god awful warm up that he does. You can see the level of skills that he's got. Let's watch. That's outside. That's it. 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 That's Look, I'll give him the benefit of the doubt. This was over a year ago. He probably has improved by now. So we'll do a bit of research tomorrow and look at some of his latest sparring footage. I'm just trying to show you how much of an egomaniac he was at this time without the skills to prove it. Now it's come down to the crunch time. How is he going to actually approach this fight? He talks a big game. He's got Anthony Joshua. He's got a squad of 100 men behind him. He's got the knockout power with the big thuds for punches. Adum, adum. Surely he's going to put on an absolute clinic. If you haven't liked the video yet, or subscribed, come on boys. I'm putting a bit of effort in here. Let's watch the fight. Come back. Come back. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Oh, man, what's he doing? He's an absolute divvy. The ref's saying come here and he's just like, no. Touch gloves. Right, he's ready. Watch this. Dickhead. What a dickhead. Look at him. Look at him. Tough man. Big man. Air butted the kid. So solid, you lad. Needs to work on that Kyphosis hunchback. What an absolute prick. No, here's his coach as well. That's it. Ryan's in the right here. Granted, the kid is putting it on a little bit, but he's not a fighter. He's not going to take a headbutt and then opt to continue on with the fight. He's going to look for a way out. And also, I will say this, this kid is a lot better now. He's had a few more fights since then. But anyway, absolute terrible display by Ryan. What are you doing, lads? But don't worry, Ryan's got a reason why he did it. He grabbed me dick. His glove might have scraped you, but if so, is that how you handle it? You headbutt the lads? That's the narrative he goes forwards with for the rest of the video. He grabbed my dick, so I Hip buttons him. You grab my dick, man. Shut up. Oh, 
Walk of shame. Look at the people who are shaking his hand right now, showing him respect. Do these look like men of value right here? Oh, there are a bunch of kids. But anyway, he goes back to the changing room, and I love this moment. It's so, so funny. You can see the disappointment on everyone's face as he walks into the locker room, shouting, He grabbed my dick! He grabbed my dick! Also, I am good to Look, look at them all. Sheer disappointment on everyone's face. From the left to the right of the screen. Look at everyone. They're like, you've let us all down there. What an absolute waste of time this was. <laughs> no one's pleased with them. <laughs> well, that was dead, man. Why did you want to get up though? Fucking gangster shit I've seen, bro. I'm sorry, man. There's a lot of emotions involved in this. And these guys are not professionals. He keeps grabbing his balls as if the kids actually punched them there. When my man's grabbed his balls, he's reacted in the way that you... Listen, what I'm saying Oh, okay, coach. That's all right then. Yeah, man. When my man's grabbed his balls, he's reacted in the way that he knows how. He's a street fighter. You know what I'm saying, bruv? That lad might be from Birmingham. I've just done a London accent. I don't even care. There's a big fight going on out there. Of course, my people are able to expect You know, there's a big fight going on out there. Of course, it's my people, what you'd expect. Yeah, exactly. What do you expect? A bunch of low lives fighting. That's pretty much it. There's other little clips after that, but it's not even worth going through. You get the picture. This guy isn't really the best of people to be representing boxing. And I hope the swarms adds to Ryan Taylor's losing record. Tomorrow, we're going to break down Ryan Taylor's fights, his technique, any sparring footage or pad work that he's got out there. And we're going to break down how swarms can win this fight. He won the first one. Can he do it again in the second one? I'm looking forward to going. Let's be honest. This is quite a stack card in terms of personality wise comment down below are you going to the fight or are you going to watch it the next day i'm looking forward to vlogging it so make sure you subscribe so you don't miss that video appreciate all the love and support on the channel guys i read every single comment so keep them coming thank you very much and i'll see you all tomorrow